Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very interesting topic, mainly how we can easily monitor the chlorophyll A concentration using Sentinel-2 satellite imagery, as well as how we can easily make the trend chart, mainly what the situation for an SSP leg for the chlorophyll how it will be increasing or decreasing we can easily monitor using this method so first of all here you can see it's one kind of map it shows the chlorophyll a concentration map and here you can see we can easily extract the water body and further we are just apply the chlorophyll a concentration mapping so here you can see it also show about the legend about that what is the uh, scenario of this lake for the chlorophyll a concentration and further, we also make this type of time series analysis chart. So mainly, it sh it show you that the, what the trend of that uh, chlorophyll A concentration for this specific lake. So here you can see we can get the positive correlation. It means that for this lake, day by day, this chlorophyll A concentration will be increasing. Okay. So in this time, I will show you that all of those method mainly how it will be work. So let's go just a simply open my browser and show you that all of those things one by one. So basically in this time, we are used had this normalized difference chlorophyll index. It's the novel math model for remote uh, estimation of chlorophyll A concentration in the turbid productive waters. So if you read this paper, then you can get a lot of information about this uh, NDCI, mainly normalized difference chlorophyll index. Here you can see this is the full paper. So you will try to read this paper, then you can get a lot of information about that NDCI. So basically in this time, we are using here this formula. It's called the NDCI. And mainly red is one band minus red band divided by red was the red is one band plus red band. Normalized difference between these two band we are apply and then calculated the NDCI. Mainly it's the normalized difference chlorophyll index. And this red is band is only possible in that your um, Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. Okay, this band is only available for the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. So that's why we can use the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery for getting this result, mainly NDCI. Okay, as well as you also try to read this thing, then you can get a lot of information about the monitoring chlorophyll A, uh, this water bodies. Okay. So if you want, you can, uh, first of all, in this time, I just use the uh, mainly Google Earth Engine platform. And then further, I try to develop this type of things here you can see. So in this time, we are using the Sentinel-2. It's the surface reflectance satellite imagery. And after the Sentinel-2, we are just uh, extract the water body. Here you can see, this is our image. Mainly, it's that uh, Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. It look like that. I want to add the visualization a specific color band combination suppose i want to add here that red green and blue band and custom stressing i increase 98 percent stressing and then apply so now we can get that true color composite here you can see it look like that okay it show that true color composite so it's our water body okay and in this time this from this satellite images we are just extracting the water body pixel okay so in this time we are using the modified normalized difference water index mainly mndwi so here you can see this is the mndwi after getting the image we are just applying the mndwi so basically it's that normalized difference water index mainly it's the green band and short wave infrared one band for sentinel 2 satellite imagery okay and further, we are just only for this pixel, which is the greater than zero. And then when I show this image, here you can see, I just simply open this image of water. It only struck the water bodies. You can see it struck the water bodies. We can get this type of color. It struck the water body from this satellite images. Okay, we are just getting this water body. Okay, so you can see it's our water body for this study area. You can find out the water body. So in this time, after getting this water body, I want to find out what the scenario of normalized difference chlorophyll index. So for that, in this time, we are using this code. Basically, it's that identify about that 
uh, red is one band and red band. So in this time we are just applying this formula. Here you can see this is the formula in DCI red is one minus uh, red. Red is one plus red. So we are just applying this formula and further we are just calculating this type of NDCI. Mainly it's our uh, identify about the chlorophyll, the chlorophyll A concentration. So now we can get this type of map finally. And as well as we also try to make the time series chart. And in this time series chart, we also try to add the trend inspection. Basically, in this trend, we can easily identify where the trend of the water body flow field. We can easily get this idea from here. So here you can see so we can get this type of result. So further, if you want cases to monitoring the profile A concentration using a Google Earth Engine platform and also help of normalized difference profile index, mainly NDCI. Okay. So you can also search on the Google, then you can get a lot of information about the NDCI and you can easily apply these things in the Google Earth Engine platform to monitor the NDCI. Okay. So in the meantime, I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program. So basically this training class will be start from that uh, 5th uh, March. Okay. We are just trying to add the schedule 5th March and you can easily uh, join in our upcoming online training program on Google Earth Engine for beginners to advanced level. Okay. So here you can see this class mainly a live training will be start from the 5th March. And now registration is the open. So basically for the Ramadan time, we also try to change our time period. You can check the time period. You can see we will start this class in 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. GMT plus 6. Okay. And uh, if you want to join this online training program, you are just simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email. So basically in this online training program, uh, you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level. If you have no knowledge about the coding or if you have no knowledge about the JavaScript or Python or Google Earth Engine, don't worry about that. You will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on Google Earth Engine platform. And you can easily apply it for any kinds of algorithm. Okay. So you can check all of those things from this video description. I already add all of those course content in my video description. You can easily check. And if you have no knowledge about the coding section, don't worry about that. You will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level. And we try to complete all of those machine learning method in Google Earth Engine, different types of uh, recreation analysis. So different types of algorithm we try to complete in this online training program. So as well as you can also get the, some benefit when you join this online training program, you can get the course certificate after submitting all assignment. You can get the all of those material, mainly slide, PDF. You can get all of those practice code. Okay. As well as you can also get the recorded class. Uh, suppose you miss any live training session, you can easily cover using the recorded class. And you also get the lifetime teaching support. It's very important as a beginners. When you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problem. So that's why we are providing the lifetime teaching support after completing the total seven years online training program. When you face any problem regarding any issue in your code, you can easily get the support. Yeah. And it's a continuous to lifetime teaching support you can get. Okay. Yeah. So basically this training program uh, will yeah. be start uh, from 5th March. Okay. And now register the opening. If you want to join, simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email. Okay. So today is no more. Thank you for asking that. Stay happy, stay safe.